everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints Color Kits team. And I have the May 2021 color kit there on my desk that I'm going to quickly run through with you really fast. We get a new color. It's a Vibes and it's called Rule of Plum. And it is the deepest, gorgeous purple. I love it. It is gorgeous. Um, Vibes are one of my favorite sprays. There's lots of shimmer. Um, there's lots of pigment and they are just um, fantastic. So that is a new exclusive color. That is Rule of Plum. We also get a Shimmers in Sugar Plum. Now Shimmers are the original um, paints. They do have liquid in them and they are so shimmery. Oh my goodness. So much shimmer. Look how gorgeous that is. Like, oh my gosh. So beautiful. Uh, Sugar Plum is definitely one of my favorite shimmers because I am a huge lover of purple. So when I saw that there was a bunch of uh, purple shades in this kit, it made me so happy. We also get a Creamies in Daffodil. Creamies are another paint pot, but you do need to add water to get it activated. And it does have a satiny finish. Inklings are, um, this is Inklings Meet Me at Sunset. And it's this gorgeous yellow. Inklings are similar to shimmers. However, they don't have liquid. You just need to add water to activate. And it's super, super shimmery. So yeah, lots of fun. Lots of great shades of yellow. And then we also get this super fun one. This is another Creamies. So you will need to add water to it. And it is called Let Us Get Together. And it's this very vibrant green and perfect to document spring and summer. Here are the exclusive dots that come in the color kit this month. So cute. And those are epoxy flare with a pop dot. We also get these fun roses. Now they do come with wire attached and they're white. So you can change the color and then you can also chop off the wire. Here is the exclusive cut file that also comes in the May um, kit. And that is it. So let's go ahead and get started on this process. I cut this cut file out on a piece of textured white cardstock and sized it to the way I wanted it. I wanted it to be a very large element on my page. That way I could uh, embellish around it and create clusters uh, as well as put my title. Like I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I totally want to put the title around the top of it. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and alter these uh, roses and I'm going to go in with a little bit of the sugar plum on a couple of them. And then off camera, I'm going to go ahead and um, do rule of plum as well as a couple of them in the two yellow colors that we get. So yeah, I'm just using a small brush and just painting the color on and being pretty loose. And uh, yeah, so pretty. I love it. And I like that the green leaves on the roses match the let us get together. So yeah. All right. So with this specific cut file, since it's very intricate, I thought I would go ahead and paint the actual cut file. I do like to do, do this when the cut files are, you know, pretty intricate and it would be kind of hard um, to maybe back it with mixed media. So I thought I would bring out the most in the cut file so it could really pop off the page. So that's why I decided to go ahead and paint the flowers in the cut file. So I'm just alternating between the new roll of plum as well as the sugar plum shimmers. And then, um, for the leaves, I'm going to go ahead and do the creamies let us get together. So what I go ahead and do, there's a tip for the creamies and the inklings before I start, like I get those out and I spray water, um, in the pots so that it could sit and soak up and get the paint kind of moving a little bit. That way, when I take my brush to it, to get the color, it's already been sitting and the paint has already absorbed the water. So it really uh, helps just to spray your water a few minutes, maybe before you start or spray and then um, maybe do some other things and then come back to it. So yeah. And um, I close mine. I don't have a problem with them uh, having the liquid. You can leave them open overnight and then close them once they're dried. But I I close mine with a, when I, uh, with a liquid in there and I have no problem with it. Okay, so I created my background using the two yellows. So Inklings Meet Me at Sunset and Creamy's Daffodil. I took a piece of uh, marshmallow basil cardstock and I prepped it with white gesso off camera. And since the cut file is a light bulb, I thought it would be so fun to have a yellow background to look like the light is like, you know, being illuminated. And uh, so that's why I went with the yellow. Now I do bring in the other colors from the kit as splatters, as just like accents. But for the most part, I thought it would be really pretty to have a yellow background. Okay, so I'm just going to, I just painted it. They did some splatters and then I let it dry overnight. And look how pretty and shimmery 
uh, this background is. The Inklings are so full of shimmer, and then the Creamies really gives that like satiny, really you know gorgeous uh, finish. And look at the right where I'm touching. It looks like it's wet, and it's not. It's completely dry, and it is just oh, the color is just so pigmented and 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 beautiful. Um, I was going to say pretty and beautiful at the same time. <laughs> All right. So here is my completely dried cut file. I love it. It was super easy to do. I just, you know, like I said, I just loosely painted it. Uh, you can, if you want darker shades, you can totally go back in and add several different coats of the colors. I just did one coat and I was super satisfied. So I did back the entire light bulb with a piece of vellum and that way uh, it softens the uh, my yellow background as well as I didn't really, I mean it's a light bulb so I try to keep it as uh, close you know, to a realistic light bulb as I can or as I could. So I'm working with the Vicki Booten uh, new color study collection. I think that's what it's called color study yes okay <laughs> and the colors just really matched and um i really didn't want to take too much away from the color kit so i only fussy cut a few florals from a pattern paper as well as those butterflies sitting on my desk and uh i do use a couple stickers and then but not too much i didn't want to overshadow my um, beautiful color kit i just wanted to kind of bring it out a little more so I did throw in some pink with the uh, pink flowers and the I matted my photo with the 6x8 paper. You can see here are the roses that are completely dry and look how sparkly they are. They're so fun. And yeah, and I did trim the wire pieces off because I just wanted to use them as embellishments, kind of like similar to like, you know, like I would an, an enamel dot. So I put those to the side and then I'm going to go ahead and work on embellishing the rest of my layout. And like I said before, I did just want to build around the light bulb. So I have my photo cluster and then I have this little subtitle here that says love, love, love this life. And I cut it from the cut apart sheet from the six by eight paper pad. And I'm just going to uh, layer some of those fussy cut florals right underneath it. And then for my title, I am going to pull in these puffy uh, Vicky Booten stickers and use those for my title, which is going to be, you are amazing. It's, I had this photo, it was like a candid shot, not a candid, but like another silly photo of Noah. Uh, not that we were just in the car. So it's something, you know, just like an everyday photo. And I just thought it was really cute. So I add, I added those fussy cut butterflies that I had from earlier. I popped them up on some foam and bent up their wings. I added another little sticker on the bottom that says snapshots of our life because that's what uh, it was and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere these really really pretty florals uh, down. I just love how quickly this layout came together. Uh, it was I had a lot of fun with this one and um, yeah so like I said earlier I do want to add or bring in some of the purples from the kit so I uh, I can't talk. I sprayed the roll of plum vibes onto my desk and I'm going to splatter those or that color in and then I'm going to go with a larger brush for the uh, sugar plum shimmers. And then um, to add even more bits of yellow, I went, at, I went back with, I think I just reached for daffodil. Or maybe I do both. I think I do both. I can't remember. Or maybe it is just daffodil. <laughs> All right. So um, now comes the fun part are working with the dots and getting those incorporated onto my page. Uh, I really wanted to keep in mind that I uh, like in regard to color placement. So um, I got those set down and then I pulled out three different threads from my stash. I have this like purple one, a yellow, and then a black. And I'm going to... Um, tangle those up and place the dots right on top of the tangled thread just to give a little more interest. I do remove the foam dots that come on the back of the, um, the dots uh, since I don't really need those popped up. It's funny, I pop up everything else, but I always leave those flat, which is, I don't know, I'm just weird. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to um, add some glue and make sure everything is adhered down. And I think the last thing that I do is I wanted some pops of black. Uh, so I pulled my colorings in Night Moves and I spray that down and I get my um, another paintbrush and then splatter those or that color, I'm sorry, all around my page. And that to me just brought everything together because there is a lot of pops of black in my title and my photo as well as those butterflies and the uh, ephemera pieces or not ephemera pieces, the fussy cut flowers. But I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to just show you a really close um, 
shot real quick and then stay tuned for the photos at the end. If you do place an order with Shimmers Paints, don't forget to leave my name in the notes comment section of your next order and you'll receive a small gift. Um, but yeah, so here are those photos up close. I had so much fun with this. If you haven't picked up the May Color Kits, uh, I'll have the link in the description box below so you can pick them up before they sell out. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!